Yeah, Dewan, it really was a wonderful day here in East Durham. Organizers say this is the time of year when they can most impact the lives of our young people right here in the Bull City. We went inside this fifth annual Youth Summit, the Holton Career and Resource Center on North Driver Street this afternoon. The Haiti Reform Justice Movement helped put this together along with the Bull City Bulldogs, a youth football group. All this to showcase or organizations that serve underserved communities right here in the Bull City. Look, we hear so much over and over that there aren't enough things for kids to do in Durham and instead they turn to violence. But you go inside, you look inside and around the room, it seems there are resources. They just need to be better coordinated as we saw today. We got to continue to team together to give these kids something new, something exciting for them to be involved in and want to get involved in. And no matter what you do, there's still going to be some that don't make it, but we're going to give them every opportunity we can to continue and to prosper. They need to be able to connect, and that's what we are working to do now, to make certain that if there are programs, if there are organizations that they want to connect to, that we find a way to make that possible for them. You just heard from Steve Chalmers, who is a former chief of the Durham Police Department, who now works for the justice movement. We saw the Durham Police Department out here as well, and there are still spots in their summer youth academy. We spoke with a number of families out here who were trying to find resources for their kids. The resources they found we will have that later on Eyewitness News, as well as some of the resources that you can find for your kids if you're still looking for something for them to do this summer. Dewan, I'll send it back to you. Hey, you love to see it in the summer just getting started. Plenty of weeks and days left uh, for all those kids out there to enjoy. Josh, again, thanks so much.